Hey, it's Keith with KG's Garage. Working on the 2014 Honda Odyssey. Let's see if we can figure out what. Let's see if you can guess what I'm working on today, what I'm fixing. Door doesn't open. Um, anyway, I don't know what. You gotta think a whole bunch of stuff out first thing is take any crap out here you need the seat to go f to be able to fall down so you gotta take out whatever's here you can see i just neatly placed everything over there um there's these little these things well not that one this one that goes here these other two are right here on either side one there one there this has come off this whole panel comes off I believe it's the whole panel here all the way up to here all the way over and then you can get in there and I gotta figure out what to do with the the cable but let me do that and then also you have to take this piece off and you somehow manually open the door because I can't even open the door right now it won't open so I think yes it's not even it's not even unlocking It's not, it's not even disengaging. I can't. So I don't know what the deal is. So I'm going to take that apart. See what the heck's going on. Fix this door. The other door is starting to break also. So i got to take this side off too. But this one still works. Okay, well, it's off, so it's not opening. That door still works. It's making a whole bunch of noise. Which I'm betting that the cable is messed up inside here. So anyway, that's that's the plan. Here's the cable. This is the cable right here. I bought it with the ends already on it. Make it a little bit easier. There's other kits out there where you can crimp this little ball on there onto the cable. It's a little bit cheaper, but I just wanted to get it make it a little bit easier for me to do it. So anyway, here's the cable and I got some tools I gotta take a whole bunch of stuff off uh, the main thing is I need to get, see if I can get that door open all right I got the panel off pain in the neck um, you might have this should be a something here you have to disconnect once you pry this off a little bit so you have this connect here and there was another one that would, would disconnect here my kids broke this so it was just hanging I just went right in so that's no problem and then there's a cigarette lighter over here you have to disconnect and pretty much you just pull this whole piece out um down over here i'm pretty sure i broke something i don't know if it was here i couldn't get that side out i can't i still can't get the door open and so i can't get the door i'm trying to get the door panel off i can't get the door panel off but this uh this panel went and it sits underneath here so you really need to take this off I can't take it off because I can't get the dumb door open and I can't like I said I can't get the panel off I started to pull it I think I have to get in over here somehow and try to pry all this off it's just difficult to do with the door shut um, but I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is here's the cable here and the other cables there I'm gonna totally disconnect the cables because they're still connected this maybe that's why it's not opening maybe one of the cables is is messed up and it's keeping it shut I don't know I'm just gonna disconnect them and see if that helps I'll, I'll let you know if that helps I mean I'm trying not to take the door panel apart you you don't have to but you need to get the door open to take the side panel off on the outside there's a screw on the other side here I show you over here. Uh, this screw right here, and you take this panel off. This whole panel comes off. You take the take the tail light off. You take this panel off. I think you push it forward. I think, and um, you, you can see you got to take you know this 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 anyway, and this panel comes off, and then you can get to where 
the cable connects to. That's what I'm trying to get get at. So I need the door open to get this to get this one screw so I can get the whole panel off. But like I said, let's let's take that cable off, see if it frees up the door. If it doesn't, I don't know what else I I, I got to figure out. I'll dig around and try to get the panel off more. Anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Let me see what, what I can do. And look at this beauty. So I took this cover off. You have to take um, <clears throat> this is what the cover looks like. So there's two tens, one here, one over here, and then just a bunch of Phillips heads hold this together. The Phillips heads were all here around it. You'll you'll see. And um, this is what the inside looks like. So here's this cable's all broken and twisted. Okay, the rear cable, oh, here we go. All right, rear cable is totally broke. Oh, I also took, there's 10 millimeters that hold these in. So I took those off. So there's three there and there's three on this side. This side's still hooked up. So I'm trying to figure out where it's hooked up inside here. There we go. So it goes through here. I'm trying to get it so it comes out. Where the heck is going on with this? I'm gonna take this off and clean it and re-grease it, but I don't know if this was, this must, It's metal cable, so it gets sharp edges on it. It's not, I don't, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know where it's broke. Okay, okay. I think maybe I have to take this out. <clears throat> I think I'll take this off, because I can't get this, this all off. I don't know if this is a piece. I don't know. It looks like this might be a piece too. I don't know what's going on here. This goes through here, and this is. Let's see if the door opens. No, it's like it's like it doesn't unlock. What happened? Chewing it up more. Oh, all right. I wish it would stop. Uh, it just keeps going. Huh. Okay. And the door's not open. Okay. Right, let me, I want to try to get this door open. What happened? I think I'm, I'm able to. Move it. So what I did was I I did I moved this this way and then I pushed over here and it went but all this stuff started moving. Yeah, see it was jammed. So it won't go any further because this is jammed. So I gotta get the cable out and I think the door will open. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, this is yeah, it's all jammed up in here. So I'm gonna take this nut off. I'll be able to get get that. I'll be able to get the cable off, and then I don't know how this was supposed to go on. I'm gonna watch some videos, uh, figure it out, I guess. But um, yeah, oh, well, I'll figure it out. Okay, take these off. These are a T T40. Okay, that's loose. Let's see, the door should open now. Yep, oh, it got stuck. No, 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 no. It's getting stuck for some reason, why? Oh, so. Oh, the cable's trying to get retract in here and it's stuck because stuck because this end is messed up so it won't 
go back. Yes. All right, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut the cable, and then I'll be able to move the door. This piece is supposed to just slide back. I think. It's off here. I watched another video, and that this, the tail light on the 2014s can stay. But I think this is supposed to slide back. Oh no, actually, I took that screw off. It's supposed to slide forward. Took the tail light off. I didn't have to, but it did help me get underneath that that part and see what was happening. So I, I got them here. You can see where they are. One, two, three, four, five, six places. And I guess the cable went through here. Yeah. And once I got this one off, I, I was able to see in there and I just took the whole thing and went this way with it. It slid right off. You can look at this here. So you can see where these how these slots are. So that's why I went this way with it. It was like that. And I pushed it that way. So now that, that's off. I need to get this cable out. That cable just is stuck over there. I don't know what, what it's. Oh, it's stuck on here. Oh, okay. So here's one end. Goes on the front, and one goes on the back. This is where you need to support the door. You got to take something off. I think you take this hinge off. So I'm gonna get something, a jack, stick it right here, hold the door up, take these two off, and then I can slide this thing all the way off. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. Two screws off here, jack is holding it. I put a rag there to not scratch it up, whatever. So now you just slide this off. Check out the wheel, looks all right. It's metal, that's good. Spins pretty good too. And here are the cables, broken cables. Somehow they come out, here we go. So it looks like I just turn them there and I just pry them out. Put the new cables in. So I gotta figure out, you know, hook them up onto the wheel there, put it all back together. All right, let's uh, take these things off. All right, here's the new cables. Here's, I believe this is the one that goes in the back. And this is the one that goes in the front. It's a little bit longer. Um, See, these are the two old ones. These are the two old ones. You know, I cut it. Uh, so this looks like it matches up. This one, yeah. Oh, okay. There's that little piece. This little rubber piece here. That's this piece here. So I guess I got to take all these plastic pieces I need to save and reuse them. This cable comes, so the cable just comes out like that, and that's garbage. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna clean this out. Probably put some more, looks like white grease there. But that pulley looks fine. Is there a pulley on this one? I guess maybe, yeah, there is a pulley on this one. 
I just have to figure out how to get this rubber piece off. Looks like it probably just pulls off. Yeah, the rubber piece just pulls off. There. Garbage. Oh, then it's got a little pulley. Yep, all right. I don't know how I get this. Oh, I'll figure it out. Somehow I gotta take this thing apart and slide this. Right here. There's a little clip right there. Let's see. Oh, all right. I, I don't wanna. I don't wanna take too many things apart with, without putting it back together. So. Yeah. So this goes over here. This goes all the way through. Let's see. That's these two pieces. So I went through here. It's around here. It looks like I went in here. <clears throat> I don't really know where it went because it was all broken. I guess I can look on the other side. So we take one side apart at a time. I'm having a hard time remembering where this was. It looks like it was on the outside because it was all dirty. I don't see how it connects though. Oh, maybe it was like this. Oh, this connects to this. Yeah, okay. Okay. So this, put the cable through here. This connects here, goes through. Cable goes all the way that way. All right, so let me let me figure that out. Okay. All right, I got this kind of mocked up here, but so what I had to do is take this plat, this rubber piece, and I shoved it through here. So you take the cable, go through here. You have to take the the wheel off, the pulley. Take the pulley off, put the pulley back in, put the the axle back in. I'll call it. And then you need to take this, put this in there so it's sealed, and then it will go on to here. I tried putting it like this and then put it on. It didn't really work that well. <clears throat> you need to pull this out. Anyway, I think I have to put that on first. So that's that part. And I'm just putting a screw in it up here just to hold it in place. Put that screw there to hold it in place. Comes over here. Under here, I'm not clicking any of this stuff until I get this all set. <clears throat> Slides in here. I just cleaned this. There was some white lithium grease on these two areas. So I have some white lithium grease. I'm just gonna put some more here. I guess this is a spot where something rubs. I don't know. I'm just gonna put some more grease there because it was there in the first place. Uh, pulley, I cleaned it all up. It only goes on one way. Uh, you can see this diameter is smaller here. This one's bigger. It's got this part right here. Um, there's no grease or anything here. I don't know why. You know what? I mean, this pulley spins. I'm gonna put... This is the motor. And the pulley spins on here. I don't know if it touches or what, but... I'm just gonna put some grease on there too. All right, I still got the. I still have to get the other um, cables routed. I think. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I. I don't know. I don't know how I adjust this or anything. I'll figure it out. But I want to get this section. I didn't do anything on the door yet. This runs through here and it gets connected on the door somewhere. Um, Actually, I can see on this door there is, so the one that comes out, oh, actually it's not, I thought, hopefully you can see here, right here, I thought that um, the rubber piece goes on the outside of here, it doesn't, so that changes what I'm going to do on the other side, I'm just going to take and just put it on the plastic and just put, scoot it in there, okay, but it looks like that cable runs 
on the rail. Uh, okay. I don't know if I can see the other one. It does run in, there's a little white clip there. It does run through the white clip though. <clears throat> they do run through this white clip. This comes here, runs through this white clip and down. So I don't know what this is. Right here, little tube. I thought that was something. Oh, maybe the, maybe this hooks onto it somehow. No, I don't know what that is. I can't move the door because it's being held up. So, so this just goes over that way. All right, all right. Let's get the other side on. Let's figure out this one and put it through. Goes up over here and hanging over here. So I need to take, this is the old one, I need to take this apart, clean it, and then put this one there. All right. All right, I want to show you how to get this off, because this was puzzling me for a while. There's little notches right here. Stick a screwdriver in there, and you can see there's a little nub right there that was, was holding it. So you just... Six screws over there, pry it a little bit, get one side up, get the other side, and this whole thing just slides right off. So that slides off. And then it'll slide right back down. Now I can take, yep, now I can take this off on the side here. It's like this, throw it in the garbage. Now I get a new one. Do some of this. Um, yeah, all right, so I need to take this new cable. I need to push this out. I'm gonna clean this up. There's like no grease in here. Um, put it through, because this goes like this. So I gotta put it through and put the rubber thing on there, put that slide that back on, and I'll show you in a second what it looks like. This is like the toughest part right here. Putting this spool back on here, the pain in the neck. All right, I mean, pulling the panel off was a pain. This is a, this might be a little bit more of a pain. So what you gotta do is, I, I have it on here. I, it was hard for me to film and do this thing. I need two hands and a lot of concentration. <laughs> I moved the door all the way back. So it's as far back as it can go. So there was a lot of cable for the rear. The rear cable goes on the back of the pulley. I'm going to put the nut on here first. Okay, I don't want the pulley flying off. It's such a pain in the neck. All right, so the rear cable goes on the back of the pulley, the side that's against here, right? Um, and you wrap it up. It, it, you can tell which way it's, it's supposed to be wrapped up. So you wrap it, wrap it around, make sure the, the cable is in the groove, just spin it around, then you get it up and you put it on here. Now this one you still have loose. Make sure that the cable is in this groove right here. I had a, a hard time and it was stuck on the other side, the outside. So I didn't have enough cable. So fix that, then you have enough cable. I mean, it's this is this is actually pretty really tight. Um, so I had the rear cable all wound up. Pull it out a little bit. Make sure you put your finger right here. Keep the cable on the pulley and don't let it move. You pull the pulley out a little bit. You put this the, the front cable on the front side of the, the front side of the pulley right there. Put it in and then just wind it up. All you got to do is like it's like only one turn. Um, one turn around go around once and then you'll have to kind of force this turn this a little bit to give you more slack over here and that means it tightens this one up but i just twisted it i mean you can twist it a little bit and then i guess these springs move i don't know whatever 
it gave me enough where I can get this in. So now these guys are in pretty good. Um, I'm going to tighten this up. I'm going to put this cover on. I'll probably put some more grease right there. Put this cover on. And then I'm going to test the door. Um, there's some procedure you got to do to get the door to open and close. I'll show you that in a minute. Let me get this cover, get, get this buttoned up here. I don't know if I said I buttoned all these up. These are all tightened. All that outside door is tightened. Um, outside door, the hinge here. Uh, hopefully, I haven't seen if it lines up, but you can see it's dirty here. And there's clean spots. When you take the, the bolts out, you can see there's a little clean spot. I lined it up as close as possible to what I think it looked like before. Um, I put these rollers, I put some white lithium grease on the rollers. I'm gonna, once I get this door going back and forth, I'm gonna put some more grease on, grease on here just to, cause it's accessible and this way it'll be a little better. That's about it for now. Let me button that up and we'll see if the door works. Okay, so to get this door calibrated, you want to manually close it. All the way. Okay. Now you need to close it. And then come over here. If you have this off, turn the doors to on. Hold open until it opens all the way up. Opens all the way up. And then hit close. Keep it keep holding close until it closes all of the way. And there you go. And that's it. So now, door's working. I'm going to take this part and look at it and see what it looks like. Make sure um, everything looks okay in there. You know, all the, the cables wrapped around the correct way and everything. And then I'm just walking in here and getting a, a light. And then once that's uh, set, I can put everything back together. I got to put all the turn pieces back on and whatever else oh, I got to put this I put this piece back on I put the I put the tail light back on like I said I, I didn't really need to take that off I didn't I didn't know all right let's okay I'm gonna take these screws off so I put the screws back on and let's see what happens that's what it looks like Okay, let's see. I'm taking it off slowly. I don't want it to spring. It looks pretty good. Oh, shoot. I didn't even, good thing I took it apart. I didn't even finish putting that bolt on there. I didn't even finish putting, tightening that nut. Let's tighten that nut. That's probably good. It's a, I think it's a lock nut. All right, so these, everything's in. This looks good. So I put, yeah, put grease on there. I think we're good to go. Door opens and closes. Uh, I can snap these closed. This one over here. This one looks good. This is all tight. And this looks good. All right, I'm just gonna put everything back together. It's reverse of what I did, right? So I'm gonna put this on. It has uh, the screws and then there's some bolts here. Once we're back together, I will come back and close the video out and show you how, what everything looks like and, uh, and how it works. I mean, it's not necessary to take these seats out. It is just that I was getting so frustrated with the, the door here. Oh, I got to make sure I put that door panel on because I did pry on it a little bit. So frustrated with the door panel that I just wanted the seats out of here. Um, they come right out. Uh, so if your door is stuck and it won't open, and you can't physically move the, the door, it looks like most likely the cables are, are, especially if the cable broke, you know the cable broke, and the door won't open, just get go in there and just 
cut the cut the cables as close as you can, and it'll just manually open and close. Um, that that's what I could have done in the meantime, so the door would open and close. But I didn't even think about it. Okay, I'm gonna get it all spec together, and I'll be back in a minute. All right. Well, I figured out that it's almost impossible to slide this thing back on. So what I'm doing is I got my little panel popper thing and I'm just taking these out and then putting them sliding them in here and then I'm gonna be able to take it and I'll just go and just snap it right in so that's what I gotta do and then after we pop all these out I'm trying to be really careful because I don't want to break anything uh, after I take all these out I can put the screw over there. So, anyway. Almost done. Okay, I said you didn't have to take the tail light out. You do. Because I'm trying to get this, this piece back in, and I can't get it in because it's hit the tail light. So, I think if I just take it, the tail light out, it's going to go in a lot better. Anyway, let me uh, let me struggle with this a little bit. I might have to open the door a little bit to uh, slide that in. Anyway, struggling, struggle. Everything is back together. One thing I want to tell you guys that I found out. Okay. All right. Well, these things here, <clears throat> it's supposed to have a stud on it. If it doesn't have the stud on it, like what happened over here was just the plastic cap came off and the stud stayed in there. It was a pain to get this on. I, I couldn't figure out why. It's because the stud was still in there. So if you take these off and the stud's still there, make sure you take back the stud out too. But it's done. The panel is back on. <clears throat> oh, it's one of those. Oh, I said close. <clears throat> I was gonna flip out if this thing uh, if this thing broke and I just uh, took put the panel back on. <clears throat> All right, so that works. This is the one. Remember, it was... there we go. It works. This one works better than the other side now. So the other side I still need to do, but I don't know how long this one took. It's the first one I did, so it took longer. The other side will take a lot shorter since I know what I need to do. So it's gonna it'll take it'll probably it'll probably take half the time. But there you go. Um, you can see the cable right there. If I would have just cut that, I would have been able to manually open and close the door. <clears throat> anyway, it's fine. Um, yeah, so we're done with this. Let's close it up. So definitely, when you want the one of the hardest things was winding up that um, the pulley. So definitely, once you have all the cables hooked up, put the board, put the door all the way open, and then wind it up, and then you only have a little bit to wind up on the front. It was that was a lot easier. I tried doing it with door in the middle or wherever it was. That was a pain in the neck. Slide the door all the way back, do the pulley, and then you just have like one turn of on the um, on the front. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you, this video was helpful. Maybe, you know, hopefully it helps somebody else um, fix their minivan. That's going to be it. I'm heading inside. It's dark, out. it's dark out now. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. If, you, if this was informative or anything, go ahead and hit the um, like button if you liked it. Uh, share it if somebody else has the same problem. And subscribe if you want to see more repair stuff. Anyway, thanks a lot, everybody. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.